Tyler Zombie Hill. I'm from Greenwood, Mississippi, fighting out of Biloxi, Mississippi. My name is Socrates Pierre. I'm from Miami, Florida, fighting out of Tallahassee, Florida. I represent Train Fight Win, Double Fist Gym, and Alliance Jiu Jitsu. Uh, man, the zombie, you know, it's hard to kill, hard to kill and bloodthirsty. Yeah, I come forwards, I come to fight, and uh, I come to kill my opponent, man. That's just kind of the idea. From the beginning, throughout the whole fight, you're just gonna see me express myself and just and just be me and do what I wanna do. And it show my, my all my arsenal, everything I got. I'm bringing a pace and I'm not planning on slowing down. You know, every human uh, gets tired. You gotta remember that, but uh, I, in my mind, I don't I don't slow down. I definitely feel confident. If I didn't feel like I was gonna win, I wouldn't take the fight. So, you know, you gotta make smart choices. I know this is the last minute, just, you know, do it, but I still feel really confident that you know I can I can get a W It is time for our co-main event here in Pensacola, Florida. This a catchweight contest. Normally these guys fight in the welterweight division. Socrates Pierre on his way, former Island Fights champion, took this fight on just one day notice after James Freeman pulled out. Pierre should be in shape. He fought just two weeks ago, came up short, losing via rear naked choke. But sometimes fighters, they, they can't lie and wait for that next opportunity. The phone rang and Socrates Pierre said, absolutely, I want to fight Tyler Hill. And he makes the walk here tonight. Former champion, like I said, he's had success here. And sometimes it, it doesn't sit well with fighters to have their last bout be a loss. And Socrates Pierre wants to get back in the win column. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he was doing in between that last two weeks. He, I mean, if he accepted the fight, he's probably still in decent shape, like you said. But um, but more so than that, mentally, he wants redemption. He probably doesn't like his last performance and wants to prove to himself that he's a better fighter than that. And tonight, he gets to prove that. What can a fighter really expect to do in terms of preparation when it's a day notice? I mean, obviously, the biggest thing is to make sure you're on weight. It's a catchweight contest. You're going to have to make the cut all the way down to uh, 170 pounds. But there's no camp, per se. Is no, it, is there's it just no camp. look at the tape and try to come up with a game plan? You, sometimes you don't even want to do that. Sometimes you just go, you know what? I, didn't, I, I just need to get out there and fight my best. I got to do my best. And the interesting thing about this is he, he sent me a message about a week ago. Okay. Asking for fight advice. Really? <laughs> yes. Um, just saying, you know, he wants to try to, uh, it may have been after his loss, and said right. he wants to try to get his career back going. And I gave him some advice, and here he is tonight. <laughs> Trying to get it here back going. Tonight. Socrates Pierre tonight, yeah. hopes to get back in the win column here at Island Fights 58. Well, another thing, I think he's a young, he's not a young man, so he knows this is his last chance. Tyler Hill, not afraid of a fight. Let's be serious here. When you take a fight on short notice like Socrates Pierre, your opponent is also taking a fight on short notice. Granted, Tyler Hill was always going to be on this card, but a different opponent, different strategy, different game plan, a whole you know, slew of problems that he wasn't necessarily preparing for with James Freeman. Socrates Pierre makes Tyler Hill bring a different fight. Yeah, to not a lot of people give the other side credit, enough credit, you know, for me, when I prepare a fighter, we prepare for the X's and O's. And when they change, if they were to change the opponent, I would almost be more willing to not accept the fight because you've been preparing for somebody else. Right. You've been spending a lot of time working on things for somebody else. And when they bring in a new opponent on a day's notice, now you got some soul searching to do. You got a lot of work to do. And for him, again, it's, it's probably the same situation. You know, why look at the opponent now? It's going to go down. Let's right. just go out there and treat it like a sparring session, kind of, but to kill. And Tyler Hill is not afraid to fight anyone. His uh, last Island Fights appearance, he took on Brock Weaver, who's his teammate. And he fought Brock Weaver because Dana White was going to be watching uh, on the Looking for a Fight show. Unfortunately, Dana wasn't able to make it, but he was willing to fight his teammate, a guy that he has, you know, shared hard training sessions with blood, sweat, tears, put it all on the line for an opportunity to get back to the the UFC, he fought in the Contender Series. He's not afraid to fight anyone. Tyler Hill came up short on that night, but don't believe for a second that he's not ready to try to put on a show against Socrates Pierre. Yeah, and those type of fighters, you gotta, you gotta trust them because they're reliable to put on a fight and give you their best work. And that's all you can really ask from a fighter is for them to give you their best work. All right, time for our co-main event. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this catch weight affair. 
Socrates, Pierre, 10 and 5, 34 years old, seven years the elder of the zombie, Tyler Hill. Hill, three inches taller and has a three inch reach advantage. On points for the catchweight, 181.8 for Hill, 178.6 for Socrates, Pierre. For our official introductions of this, our co main event, here is Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our next bout. First, a special birthday shout out to our good friend Randall Ray in the house tonight, celebrating her birthday with us. Thanks for joining us tonight, Randall. We appreciate it. This next bout is being brought to you by our friends at Billy Clark Bail Bonds and is scheduled for three five minute rounds. A catch weight of 180 has been set. When the action starts inside the ring, our referee, Larry Downs Jr. And now, let's meet our fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet, one inch tall, and weighing in at 178.6 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the ring with a professional record of 10 wins and five defeats. Representing Zikro and train fight win and double fist gym from Tallahassee, Florida. Please welcome the sound of chaos, Socrates Pierre. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. Standing six feet three and weighing in at 180.6 pounds with a record of nine wins and four defeats. Representing Savage Association. Fighting out of Biloxi, Mississippi. Please welcome Tyler Zombie. Larry Downs Jr. getting this co-main event assignment. It is the zombie Tyler Hill taking on the sound of chaos, Socrates Pierre. <laughs> TJ DeSantis, Dean Thomas, Pensacola Bay Center tonight for Island Fights 58. Appreciate you joining us on UFC Fight Pass. This combination there by Pierre finds a home. Yeah, just, just a little far, like a little shorter on the chin might have done a little more damage. But it's a great left hook. Big punches here by Pierre early. Left hand. Bit of a slip there by Socrates. Nice jab there by Hill. This guy's throwing hard early. Beautiful left hand there on the combination by Pierre. Hill maybe a little bit rattled. Trying to weather this early storm. Working the body and the head is Socrates Pierre. Socrates finding his home, just not having the effect that he wants. This is a catchweight contest. Hill, a bit bigger at weigh-in time, 181 to Pierre's 178. Hard right hand right there hand. by Hill, and you see the difference in, in power and the efficiency of the punches. That one rattled Pierre, where Hill's weather the storm a bit better eating flush shots. It, it's almost like Pierre's hitting him with the inside of his fist, so he's not really getting the knuckle on it, it seems. Nice kick there to the lead leg of Pierre by Hill. Pierre answers with a nice right hand. Pierre has to be careful. Like He's doing a good job of walking Hill down, but he's leaving himself a little exposed, and his shots are a bit wide, which is probably why he's catching him with the inside of his hand as opposed to the knuckle. A lot of action here, and we're just touch over 90 seconds in. Big looping shots, and we see Pierre disengage. Now coming forward with some more hands. Well, I'll tell you what, he's living up to the name Zombie because he's taking shots and, and continuing to not be phased too much. Nice kick, stumbles Pierre. Yeah, Tyler doing a good job of, of throwing that kick and, and knocking, off, knocking Pierre off balance so he's not really getting a lot of them shots no more. Kick has definitely been there for Hill a few times. Halfway point of this first round. Kick to the body, launched by Hill, but Pierre able to fire back with some punches. Pushed him in the corner, but now Hill back at space. You see like that, like after he throws that kick, it knocks 
Pierre off balance so he can't really get the full a full blow and get full rotation on his punches. How much does that affect the power of the punch from Pierre? Uh, affects it totally. It's, it totally changes. Now in the clinch, nice elbows there by Hill. Right hand to the body of Hill by Pierre, but it pushed backwards. Now Pierre tries to go for a double leg. Hill having none of it. See, the problem with taking shots like that is you're taking shots when you're already hurt and beat up in the six, in the, the reliability of finishing them shots is very low. Yeah, Socrates Pierre looks worn already. He's taken way too much punishment. He's given a lot, but he's taken a lot. I mean, it has been two weeks since his last fight. He didn't have to go through a real grueling weight cut, but at the same time, he's not as cardiovascularly ready as he would be if he was just coming off a of camp. And not to mention, I think uh, might be tired a little bit for some of the damage that he's taken here. <laughs> yeah, like, and that's what really, what really zaps people's energy. It's not necessarily like the conditioning or the cardio. Right. It's all the damage you take in the in the process of the fight. Pierre finding a home for that right hand, but Hill just walking through it. And for what it's worth, Hill still looks kind of fresh. Like he takes some shots and gets rattled a little bit, but he just regroups and now he's just coming forward again. He's a zombie. Absolutely, I mean, a very appropriate name for one Tyler Hill. Pierre trying to combo his strikes here. Nice knee to the body. These fighters really leaving it all in the ring here in this first round. You would never question their toughness. Absolutely not. Final 10 seconds here, round number one. Hill going for a takedown. <laughs> Coleman event living up to the hype. Solid first five minutes turned in by Socrates Pierre and Tyler Hill. Well, that's an interesting round to score because in terms of, I think, effectiveness, it seemed to me like Socrates Pierre did the most work, but his body language just looks terrible. And that speaks point. volumes yes. to the judges a lot. Yes, absolutely. It looks like he lost the round, and he might have actually did more work. I mean, that's one of the benefits of being labeled a zombie. You can take punishment, and while it affects a, a lot of people different ways, Tyler Hill can take that punishment and kind of make your offense look ineffective even though it is very effective. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to how Socrates Pierre comes out this round because he looks worn out. And Tyler Hill, this, this minute is really gonna be beneficial for him. Looks like there may be a cut on the hairline of Tyler Hill, but when you're nicknamed the zombie, I don't think that's gonna affect you. <laughs> round two underway. He'll immediately to that kick of the lead leg of Pierre. Both men exchanging punches here early. Nice two-piece combination there by Pierre, but he eats another leg kick. Well, it's evident that the corner of Pierre said, hey, take some of the steam off them punches and just try to keep him a little straighter because he's throwing them straighter now and without as much steam. Well, that was a little wide, but he was he seemed to kind of clean up his technique a little bit. But even still now, even cleaning up his technique, he just, he looks like he doesn't have any legs left. Nice right hand found a home rock. The head back there of Hill. Big miss there by Pierre. Almost spun him all the way around. And you mentioned, I mean, the approach here by Pierre, he has offense, but it's not, not as aggressive as it was in the first round. But only that, but not only that, but just like his body language. Like right. it seems like he's doing a lot of good work, but his body language just seems so much worse. And how much of this is demoralizing for Pierre? Because we talk about the nickname Zombie and Tyler Hill. Pierre's landing, but the effect is clearly not what he would like it to be. 
it's very demoralizing, but he's but it, he doesn't seem to be demoralized. He just right. seems to be worn out. Going for a takedown now is Pierre Hill on his feet for now, but Pierre does get it nicely done by the former champ. Sets up shop here in the half guard of Tyler Hill. Three minutes left in round number two. And he's got three minutes to work, but I think even more, to, more so than that, I think that was a good move for Pierre because now he can get off his legs and maybe even rest a little bit. And they know that, that you hear the corner of Tyler Hill saying he's trying to rest. I'm surprised Tyler Hill's not being more busy to keep him active and keep him working. Halfway point of this fight. Deidre DeSantis, Dean Thomas, this is our co event here of Island Fights 58. Hill gives up his back now. Yeah, I'm totally surprised by that move from, from Hill to give up his back in this position. Maybe he feels well, maybe, like... Yeah, well, he might actually shake him off. Gonna make sure he doesn't get caught in an arm bar situation. Nicely done there by Hill, took the risk. Now reaps the reward. Pierre yeah. trying to get back to his feet. It doesn't look like Pierre's gonna make it out of this one. We're gonna make a choke up coming here for Tyler Hill. There's the tap, it is done! Yeah. Tyler the Zombie Hill! Victorious tonight, rear naked choke. Wants to get back on the radar of one Dana White and punch his ticket back to the Contender Series or potentially a shot in the UFC. And what a performance by that young man. The finish comes his way in round number two. And what is in your head? Zombie, Dude, my goodness. Yeah, I know, He's, his head is made of concrete. <laughs> Anywhere in your life. That was a bang. Don't Tyler Hill, big statement made by him. He fought his teammate Brock Weaver in this building. He wants a big opportunity, and the guy comes to fight. Can't take that away from him. Yeah, absolutely. You got to give him give him credit for taking the fight on such short notice against a different opponent. Yep. And uh, and just weathering the storm. He gets taken down here, um, and I was surprised he wasn't a little bit more busy. But he eventually gets the back of Socrates Pierre and finishes with the rear naked choke. Submission victory goes the way of one Tyler Hill. Big victory, he embraces Socrates Pierre, who we mentioned stepped up on very short notice, just a day of notice, fought two weeks ago, was definitely up for the challenge, and he brought it all. Socrates Pierre, not overmatched in this fight due to lack of preparation. He came to fight, he put it on Tyler Hill, but Tyler Hill did what he needed to do to get his hand raised in a very big win over a former champion in Socrates Pierre, Tyler Hill. Should be proud of this victory. For our official time of the stoppage, here's Christopher James. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from both these men inside the ring. What a fight, gentlemen. Referee Larry Downs Jr. calls a halt to this bout at 3.03 of round number two, declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Tyler Zombie. Tyler Hill getting it done tonight in our co event. A big victory for him. He wants another opportunity in the octagon. And with a performance like that, you got to believe that big things are on the horizon for the zombie. Rear naked choke victory over the former Island Fights champ and Socrates Pierre. Tyler Hill getting it done here in Pensacola. Up next, our main event of the night is headed your way. You're watching Island Fights 58 on UFC Fight Pass. And my name is Davidson Ribeiro. I'm from Brazil. I train in America.